Uh, yes, this is the first uh, NFCC Council meeting of 2019, and we, we tried to restructure it a bit this time, so um, much more room for debate about the big issues of the time. Uh, we were becoming very process-driven, so we had papers, we had decisions to make, so we, we were doing that business, but we had no time for discussion, no time for debate. So we've had a, a couple of really good uh, debate sessions. We had one yesterday evening, where about half the council attended, and... Uh, one today, last night we were talking about things like uh, pay and industrial relations and those sorts of areas, and today we were talking very much about uh, Her Majesty's Inspector of uh, Constabulary and Fire and Rescue. Yeah, so the, the comprehensive spending review is, is probably one of the biggest issues facing us at the moment. We know as a fire and rescue service we've suffered from 10 years of austerity. We know we've not been protected throughout that austerity. We know there's a 24% reduction in workforce. We know that, that a lot of services, especially in England, are very lean at the moment. What we need to do is get that all across to not only the Home Office, but the Treasury, but not only Home Office and Treasury, but communities and local government as well, because that's where our formula grant funding comes from. So that's a big challenge for us. The good thing is we're working very closely with Home Office colleagues, uh, very closely with uh, elected members from the Fire Services Management Committee to form a business case for funding the fire and rescue service in future. So the basis of that is, is, is three main priority areas. So we're looking at um, operational effectiveness supported by technology. We're looking at uh, big incidents, and not just national incidents, but we do know that if people have a 10 or 15 fire engine fire now in lots of places in the country, they need three or four services to help them do that response and the aftermath of that response. And then quite obviously, everything that's coming out of Hackett's the inspectorate report said that, that we're falling behind on protection work. We think it needs to be resourced better and funded better so we can not only meet our obligations now, but meet them future obligations in the future. So we're working on that. And we know in doing that, Home Office has real three priority areas. That's uh, safety and security, very obvious for us on safety. Prosperity, which might not be quite so obvious, but if you look at uh, the economic cost of fire, the social cost of fire, the fact that most businesses that have a fire close within a few weeks or months, we can deal with prosperity, but also how we help and impact other services. So National Health Service Prevention Agenda, social care, adult care, living alone, we know we lend support and value to those areas. So I think we've got a good story to tell and we need to get that story in so we get the best possible deal through the Comprehensive Spending Review for Fire and Rescue. Yeah, so uh, the inspections are a big issue, again, for English fire services. Uh, so Her Majesty's Inspectorate at Constabulary Fire and Rescue have done tranche one. They've had the report on the first 14 services. Uh, we know what the outcomes of that are. You know, effectiveness is pretty good. Efficiency, 50-50. Culture needs some work, to, to, to paraphrase. But what we're doing, we're really treating this as a, a learning possibility for everyone involved. So... As National Fire Chiefs Council, we're uh, finding out where the learning is, putting it into our central programme office, putting it into our foundation programme, so workforce, digital and data, community risk programme, making sure it links into our projects. But as well as that, we're helping the uh, inspectorate learn, because it's the first time they've done this with the fire service for many, many years. So they're learning as they go as well. So it, we're, we're improving, learning together, and I think the outcome will be an even better service for our communities. Well, I think that the Central Programme Office has really come into its own now. We know how good it was for the National Operational Guidance. We're now using that methodology for our programmes and projects. So the ones uh, I've mentioned previously, but Community Risk Programme, Workforce, Digital and Data, and all the things, all the projects, whether it's apprenticeships, whether it's mentoring, whether it's the leadership framework, all coming under the Central Programme Office. So. Uh, so we've got our programme, we've got the National Fire Chiefs Council strategy, but we're also learning from Grenfell and what come out of Hackett, feeding that in, and what's coming out of the inspection. So there's, there's three areas of learning that builds on national operational learning to make sure we have the best improvement methodology for us going forward. So Central Programme Office, really important on that, but so is engagement with all our stakeholders. So that's why the engagement forum is such an important forum, whether it's the trade unions, whether it's uh, industry bodies, whether it's institutions of fire engineers, those sorts of people, so they can engage in our development and eventually 
impact on the Fire Standards Board and how a number of those projects and programmes might become standards in the future. Well, through the Hackett Review, we're making some good progress. So mostly in what's now called the Joint Regulators Group. So that's National Fire Chiefs Council representing fire, uh, the local authority building control and, and, and planners representing local authorities in that space, and health and safety executive. So our plan is to, how do we build in the change of culture? How do we build in competence? What do we do about safety case? How do we do the joint competent authority? You know, what is the end definition of high risk buildings? All up for discussion at the moment, up for consultation. And we're trying to work with builders that will be early adopters of the new regime to ensure we get it right. So the, so the Joint Regulators Group is almost piloting what the future will be. We're a little bit concerned that we're still not dealing with the Housing Act and, and Fire Safety Order, where the, the gaps or overlaps might be. We still need to deal with that. We think um, high-risk buildings should be extended beyond residential buildings over, uh, over 10 floors, so it should be buildings where vulnerable people reside, so hospitals, care homes, sheltered housing, specialised housing. But I'm sure we can work with government colleagues, because so it's, it's home office and communities and local government, to make sure we get the right result in the end. Uh, 2019, I think one of the um, uh, things that I've, I've said and people who heard me say that change is the only constant. And if you look at uh, the pay claim, if you look at the, the pensions issues, if you look at Grenfell inquiry, if you look at Hackett, Comprehensive Spending Review, Fire Standards Board, the inspection, I think there's plenty of work to be getting on with in 2019.